Right in guys. So how old is this uh, is this Mr. Sadler, did you say? This is what is it? Approximately. How old is it? This is a, a Neolithic burial cairn. Uh, a burial cairn obviously is of great importance to somebody. Uh, it was buried here, it was a, is an important person. And it's called the Brystones, it's thought because it was supposed to be a female. So, are you as excited here as you were at Shaflet? I Flat? certainly am, yes. I mean, uh, I, I just, I love Neolithic uh, burial chambers. Um, I've been around a number of them uh, on investigations. Um, this one is a little bit smaller than I expected, but I'm already intrigued. So what's the, um, what's the haunting, the haunting story, Dave? First and foremost, there's been uh, a figure which the reportee, the witness, claimed looked like a druid. Uh, it was it, it was in white. Uh, we've also got dark, shapely figures. Uh, the, the UPIA actually themselves have had uh, quite a high EMF spike within the burial cairn itself. Also, a gentleman uh, was travelling on this road. The gentleman stopped to relieve himself, uh, to a little wee. And in that period of time, he got out of his car, he saw a ball of light emanating from the Brightstones area, uh, electrical statically charged ball of light, and thereby found himself in the woods adjacent to the, uh, to the south. Uh, a number of hours later, he had a complete loss of time. He was half naked. Uh, when he got back to his car, he found his clothes were neatly piled up in his car and they had an electrical statical charge to them also.